but it's it's what you dream about. I mean, it's it all intents and purposes. For a hockey player, you always dream about playing in a game seven. You know, it's only game three, but for what we have, it's a game seven. So it's what you dream about as a kid. Now we got to take advantage of that with playing with that kind of intensity. You were carrying the play a couple of posts there in the second period. How important was uh, Patrick's goal there? Really, it seemed like at that point you grabbed the momentum and didn't let go. Yeah, you know, I liked the way we were playing the second, and, and you're right. I, you know, I wasn't worried because we were playing the right way, but you know, you hit a couple of posts and we got pucks bouncing around the crease, and you start getting a little concerned that um, that Clemente may be starting to feel a little, little bit, but. You know, I thought that was a great goal by Patty Cullen. Um, he, he powered through a defenseman, and then he drove it around the back of the net. He didn't throw it away, uh, and, and Josh Rabani and Alex Goulet went to the net hard, like Brown did to us last night, and, and took away Clemente's eyes. And It was a real good play by all three of those guys, and it was a big goal for uh, us. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good one for us. Uh, we were really building off shifts at the shift, and, uh, you know, uh, he's got the puck on the boards there, and. Uh, Alex went harder than that, Rambo went harder than that, and uh, you know, I just threw it at the net and uh, had a good bounce. Now, you know, you get, earlier in that period, you guys had a couple of chances to hit the post. Were you guys getting frustrated at all, or were you just confident because it seemed like you guys were in control at that point? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we'd be getting a little more frustrated if, uh, you know, we weren't getting those chances, but we were getting the chances. You know, they're just a couple inches off, or so so you know we weren't too worried on the bench, and uh, you know everyone was feeling pretty confident. Were you guys a little nervous coming in, knowing this is, the season was on the line today? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we were uh, we knew what we needed to do, and uh, you know we were excited about it more than anything. So uh, you know we were we were pretty upbeat about going in this one. The shot chart's gonna bear out. It's, uh, you created a lot more download than last year. Well, we went to the net harder, and we possessed the puck. And our forwards were more physical. It's it's a it's amazing what happens when you finish checks. And that's that's not against Brown. That's against everybody. It's teams do it to you. I mean, when you finish checks, you get turnovers and you get puck possession. And I thought our forwards were uh, finishing a lot of hits tonight. I thought uh, the guys we put in the lineup gave us good energy. And uh, you know, I thought a guy like Brian Brutleg, who's an energy forward for us, that that was a real force uh, in that game tonight. Seth, are you a big believer in momentum with the, with the scene that you have it now? Should you be favored to win this game tomorrow? Momentum goes as far as how hard you play. You know, I mean, you know, we have momentum, I guess, on our side, but it, we'll only keep it if we come out and play with the same level of urgency and intensity and the kind of uh, relentless puck pursuits that we implored tonight. You know, and our D did a good job taking care of the puck and being physical protecting the front of the net. So um, we can keep momentum on our side only if we're willing to play that hard and play the right way. Coach, after a full season and now a third game in three nights, how much do you worry about tired legs, bumps and bruises, you know, guys just being mentally tired too? You know, I don't. Um, you know, again, uh, this team is very resilient. Uh, you know, game seven situations are, are where you need to be a resilient team. So I got a lot of belief in the guys in that room. Um, and, and I thought you know, it was important with how good we played tonight, I was, I was able to play everybody. Yeah, I didn't have to shorten the bench because everybody was playing so good. And you know, so that way we stayed fresh. Um, you know, we didn't have to play our big guns a uh, tremendous amount in the third period down the stretch. So, uh, and our guys are in great shape. This is why you put the time in in April through September uh, to try to gain an advantage uh, on a potential opponent in these types of situations. And, and uh, I, I don't know what kind of shape Brown's in. I assume it's pretty good, but I know our guys are in great shape and they'll be ready to go tomorrow. Brandon's Coach. goal um, we have shortly after uh, Patrick's goal. How big was that to really take control of the game? Well, you know, I, I thought Brandon had, uh, starting the third period last night and then through tonight, he had a lot of great scoring chances. And, and he had Clemente beat on one in the second, hit the knob of his stick. And, and I just, I liked the way Brandon played. You know, he got a couple penalties again tonight, but I, I thought tonight he got penalties because he was being physical. And, and uh, I, I I like when Brandon's playing physical. I told him, keep doing that. I, uh, that was, I thought that was a good hit. And uh, so, I, you know, he got rewarded tonight because he kept playing hard. He won a puck battle. And then once he gets out in open space like that, he can do some pretty good things. Did you feel pressure tonight yourself? I was nervous. You were? Yeah. I wasn't nervous how we were going to play. I, I, I had full confidence that we were going to come out and play extremely well. But uh, I really like this team. I like what we have inside of us. And, uh, you know, when, when, when you're 
at the point where the end is there if you don't respond, yeah, I, I had a lot of butterflies tonight, uh, no question about it. Uh, but not not because I was worried about how we play, just because the situation. Uh, so last night you said you were in Paris, the way you guys came out with the lead in the third, obviously different tonight. Yeah, well, we, we knew what... Uh, we knew what happened last night, and uh, we reminded each other of it before the game, this morning before the game, and before the third period came up. So uh, we, we knew what we had to do, and we knew what we had to change. So uh, it's uh, it's unfortunate that it had to be like that last night, but we learned from it. And like I said yesterday, we're a resilient squad, so uh, that's, that's something that we can always depend on. But it's just uh, it's got to be that consistency. That's what we're striving for. Right now. I talk about playing on a different going back to period and how great his line tonight seemed to be working. Yeah, well, it's it's easy playing with those two guys. They're they're great players, and, and the way that Puri makes plays and Marty was going tonight, just winning puck battles on the wall. It was it was awesome. So uh, they make the game easy on me, and they make me look good out there. So it's uh, it's nice playing with those guys, and the guys I played with yesterday played well as well. But uh, these these two, it's it's nice. I really enjoy playing with them because it allows me to just play my game. I don't have to think. I know where they're going to be, and it seems like we have a bit of chemistry together, so it, uh, it was nice.